missile defense agency developers say radar and B-mounted triangulated sensor cameras have already been able to discern the difference between armed missiles and decoys. Washington, D.C. The Pentagon is working with industry to explore the possibility that bomb, missile or laser-armed F-35 seconds could destroy an attacking nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM, targeting the U.S., potentially bringing a new dimension to existing defenses. The idea would be to use F-35 weapons and sensors to detect or destroy an ICBM launched during its initial boost phase of upward flight toward the boundary of the Earth's atmosphere. We are excited about the concept, a senior Pentagon official told Warrior Maven. The F-35, officials explain, could use a kinetic solution wherein it fires upon and destroys a launching ICBM, or a sensor solution where it cues missile defense systems, locating or stopping attacks earlier than might otherwise be possible. We are now looking at how we could close the kill chain on that process, officials familiar with the ongoing exploration told Warrior Maven. One senior DOT official explained that the prospect of F-35 missile defense would likely hinge upon key intelligence information. Should there be an indication or concern regarding a possible enemy launch, F-35C armed carriers or other F-35 seconds in the vicinity could use speed, stealth and sensor technology to find, ID and destroy an ICBM. The prospect of using an F-35 for this purpose introduces a range of defensive possibilities not yet part of the Pentagon's missile defense arsenal. For instance, an F-35 could fire air-to-ground bombs or missiles to explode the ICBM during or just after launch. An F-35 might also use lasers and electronic warfare to incinerate, jam or disable the flight trajectory of an attacking ICBM. If an ICBM guidance system or propulsion mechanisms were interfered with, an ICBM might be thrown off, heading into the ocean or in an inhabited area less likely to cause damage. Also, a group of F-35 seconds could potentially form some kind of networked relay system using the multifunction advanced data link metal to deliver threat information across a fleet of aircraft in position to warn US missile defense systems. This metal data link which enables a group of F-35 seconds to all see the same thing in real time while conducting a mission, could potentially extend the range of systems able to find or detect an enemy ICBM. It goes without saying that the earlier combatant commanders and decision makers learn of an attacking ICBM, the more time they have to consider and implement countermeasures or launch a counterattack. ICBM launch points developed by potential adversaries are often deliberately lodged deep in land and heavily defended by air defenses, making them harder for certain weapons and attack assets to reach. The F-35 can use its stealth configuration and maneuverability to get closer to ICBM launch points originating in enemy territory, Lauren Thompson, Chief Operating Officer of the Lexington Institute, told Warrior Maven. Also, a 2014 congressional report the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review contains a 70-page chapter on Chinese military modernization. Among its many findings, the report specifically cited Chinese mobile ICBM launchers with as many as 10 re-entry vehicles in some cases. These weapons, of course, present significant new threats. The more re-entry vehicles approaching a target, the more difficult the defense. With this in mind, an F-35 might bring an ability to use stealth speed and maneuverability to operate above heavily defended inland areas to find, chase and destroy mobile launchers. The initial launch or boost phase of an ICBM, it appears, would present the best opportunity for an F-35 to have the intended missile defense impact. Hitting an ICBM attack during the final or terminal phase, Thompson said, would present challenges due to the hypersonic speeds at which the re-entry vehicles are moving. All of this raises the question as to whether an F-35 could be part of an integrated system able to detect and knock out enemy ICBMs while they are traveling in space. While difficult, it might someday be possible for an F-35 to use GPS or other air-mounted sensors to interact with satellites, which themselves could fire some kind of interceptor to hit an ICBM during space flight. In this scenario, an F-35 would function as a sensor or networked node and not an actual attacker, per se. An F-35 would bring something new to missile defense by potentially filing a needed niche or, at very least, greatly supplementing existing land-based systems. Unlike offensive nuclear deterrents such as air, sea and land weapons, US ICBM missile defense weapons are primarily land-based.